Hello and welcome to today's uh, analysis. I'm gonna be looking at the KLSE gain. <coughs> it's I think about one week ago I look at the KLSE. So uh, as always I think I should start with the uh, KLSE first and then there are about 10 stocks, Malaysian stocks I want to look at. Uh, you can jump to the individual time frames, uh, uh, time stamp, I mean uh, be looking at KSL Holdings, K1 Technology, Sunway Berhad, Sunway Construction, Hatalega, Uchitek, YTL Power, YTL Corporation, Capital A, Berhad Public, Public Bank. Uh, to jump to the <coughs> the specific stock, go to the timestamps uh, in the description. And okay, this is the KLSE. So um, it has been trading sideways and just recently it broke out of a consolidation right this is a breakout <coughs> breakout above this area this area previously was a resistance area why we call it a resistance area why a resistance because every time it goes here it cannot go up further boom 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 go down but recently you see it just broke out here and whenever the main index breaks out there's gonna be quite a lot of stocks that are where i know maybe making meal highs or breakout higher so uh, when this breakout happened there was uh quite i think there'll be stocks right that will be uh shooting higher as well uh, let me just draw this trend line okay uh, so you can see uh, this is a trend line that connects the lows here lows 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 so I remember I mentioned about the bottoming tail here how it found support at this uh, uptrend line and the bottoming tail kind of like hinted you know that it wants to go higher resting at trend line support and look for five trading days it shot up break above this resistance area and guess what i'm very happy with the klci because if it breaks above the resistance if you know a bit of technical analysis is resistance once broken becomes the new new what new uh new spot new spot it becomes the new support <clears throat> okay it becomes a new support this is a support let me just uh, write support so you can see it. support all right i'm sorry for uh ugly like child handwriting but i'm using my mouse to write this thing <clears throat> so uh Okay, uh, use the rectangle and just uh, paint it. So this area is a new area of support. So as long as the KLCI, KLSE stays above this area, things are going to be bullish for the Malaysian stock market. <coughs> um, like uh, yesterday we have a, a topping tail, that's why it's falling. So it may go down, right? But we have this uptrend line support and we have this price support here so i believe that as long as uh, klci stays above this area it's gonna maybe just go back up again so this is the daily chart you can uh, maybe you can argue that uh, it's an ascending triangle here you know uh, lows higher low higher low same high maybe a variation of ascending triangle uh, <clears throat> if you want to learn more about the ascending triangle um, go to my website uh, the stock market analysis and then here mastering the ascending triangle pattern for profitable u.s stock trading okay you can still apply it to malaysian stocks okay so uh not for you to straight away jump and trade but for you to understand you know how a tri ascending triangle works why this area becomes a spot so uh, generally i i i kind of like the 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 trend now you know the movement of the KL, klci okay uh bullish cross here uh 20 ma cross um slanting up 50 ma slanting up and 200 ma like slanting up so there is potential for bullishness in the future so mid 
uh, I mean uh, the weekly charts. Weekly charts uh, are also good. Right, it's a uh, low here. Refuse to even go lower than this. Then a higher low and a higher lows, and you can see like it's a there's a contraction pattern and a nice bullish green bar as it breaks out above this uh, uh this resistance area. So um we have this uh, kind of like midweek trade, but there's a topping tail because why? Because uh there's this 200 MA. Uh, resistance that we chart. You see the 200 MA when it hit, when every time it hit the 200 MA goes back down, hit the 200 MA weekly goes down. So when it hits the 200 MA uh, during the midweek, right, these few days, of course, uh, some sell off. But I think if support here holds, most likely it will maybe drop and continue to go higher in the future. Where it will meet the next area of resistance, which is here. So this is a very bad resistance area, which uh, need time to overcome. Right, this area. Can you see? Hmm. Uh, yeah, this area of resistance. Now, I want to go to the monthly chart and show you that there might be a break of a monthly downtrend line okay if we connect the highs here the highs here and here if the KLSE is above uh, can go above this downtrend line right things are going to look good for the Malaysian stock market in the long run why I say in the long run um because it's a monthly chart don't expect it to go break above the downtrend line and then shoot up like that there's a lot of resistance here that needs to be overcome but uh, one good thing is uh, after the appearance of this monthly green candle uh, the trading range has been at the uh, upper part of this uh, monthly candle you see it, it didn't trade down here you know it's a monthly monthly candle but one two three four five months almost six months hey eh? Uh, trading range is above the second half of this bullish candle so that tells us there's bullishness there's strength in the in the market in the KLCI so if it breaks above this uh, monthly downturn line so we might see the KLCI moving maybe like this okay just maybe okay so uh, daily chart still all right this is a daily chart okay this will be my reference area as long as uh, KLCI SC stays above this area Wow, you're gonna have a lot of Malaysian stocks uh, that are very viable on the dip. Uh, look for breakouts. Uh, look for uh, dips. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. That's why you wanna study the general markets. You know, before you attack individual stocks, because uh, seventy-five percent of stocks will follow the direction of the KLS, KLSE. That's why in US also, when I look at US stocks, uh, always study the S and P five hundred. You, if it's in the uptrend, most of the stocks will go up. And look at this. This few days gone up. A lot of stocks are shooting up. So, um, sorry, it takes a bit long, about eight minutes. But uh, just talking about KLSE. But when it comes to stocks, you know, I'm excited about it, <coughs> and I like the stock market. So sorry if it's a bit long, but. Uh, I kind of enjoy what I do. I really like to analyze things, you know. So, uh, I think I don't want to waste so much time now talking about KLC. Let's jump to our first stock, KSL Holdings. Uh, okay, this stock. You see the breakout. Um, when KLSE was breaking higher, this stock was breaking higher. Now, what can I see? Uh, in this chart, KLSE, uh, KSL Holdings, sideways trading for a long time, shoot up, and then sideways trading for how many months? Uh, many months, many months. Okay, for many days, trading sideways. But when you go to the weekly chart, what can you see? Um, actually, this stock is um. This where pattern analysis helps a lot. I just did a video about uh, triangles, but uh, mentioning about it as a bullish reversal. But uh, 
kind of like triangle pattern in the in the weekly charts right when the weekly trading hits the weekly rising 20 ma and a triangle kind of pattern forms it breaks out higher so um you can take this target here like the move up here and uh i'm sorry uh, i'm using the measured move target you take the height of this uh, okay the height of the triangle okay this is the height of the triangle and you clone it and you bring it to uh, from here so um hmm so this will be the a likely target for k1 where is it 1.468 or something like that see the triangle breakout pattern the target so the sideways trading here was absorbing the resistance over here just put the uh, okay for you to see color it okay resistance area right why resistance? Because people who bought here lost money and brr, all the way down. And when it reaches here, what do the people who lost money do? They sell off. That's why uh, there's sideways trading here. But after a period of time, the triangle forms and it absorbs this area. So there's a likelihood that um, since this area is absorbed, the next area of resistance would be over here, right? It'd be over here. Yeah. It'd be over here. Sorry. So um, that's about where the target is just now, uh, right? One point, no, no, sorry, slightly below it uh, before it hits. Uh, but anyway, <coughs> rising 20 MA, rising 50 MA in the weekly charts, very good for the stock. In daily as well, it has broken above this uh, kind of triangle. And you just want to take this triangle as a reference. Okay, if the stock is if the stock is any strong, it will not go back below the apex of this triangle. Okay. <clears throat> so some traders will buy the breakout here, put a stop loss here. Okay. Um, and just write it higher. You see the 200 MA is rising. So, uh, daily and weekly, very um, uh, not say very bullish for this stock. Bullish condition, right? In uptrend, bullish for this stock. So my reference point will always be uh, this area. Mm. Yes. Okay, green. Okay, first area around here. You don't want to see it drop below here. And of course, the apex area. If this stock is any strong, it will never drop below here. It will never drop below here either. So you have a bullish one here. Okay. Now, um, let's go to K1 technology. K1 technology and uh, usually this I, I don't kind of like this kind of a uh, trading I, and you look at the weekly chart it's uh, in a sideways trading for a very long time um, you don't want to be wasting your time in sideways trading stocks like this especially in the weekly chart forever stuck in this range I mean it might go up but you want to look at stocks that are in a uptrend because you may buy here and you may take until 2025 only for it to go up so your money might be stuck in uh, this kind of of situation so uh, this is a stage four downtrend basing here okay when you're basing i call it a accumulation stage you know if you are familiar with the stock market cycle there's four cycles stage one basing stage two uptrend stage three market top this is stage three market top stage four downtrend so in stage one you just don't want to do anything with it wait for it to go um for a stage two uptrend because you might buy here you might be correct but your money will be locked into a stage one basing stock for a very long time now i want to show you sunway berhad <coughs> Sunway Berhat. <clears throat> Sunway Berhat. Okay. Okay. What happened? See, I told you when the KLSE breaks out, there always be some stocks that uh, breaks out. So this pattern, uh, Sunway, 
was actually consolidating at support. This is a buy uh, setup here where you uh, put a buy here and a stop here. See consolidation at support. And uh, it uh, shot up a lot. So um, 20 MA rising, 50 MA rising, 200 MA rising. This stock is still bullish, but don't know whether it will correct or not because uh, run up too much. Now, I want to go to the weekly chart first because uh, we always want to, uh, okay, okay. For since 2018, it's already made a new high here. So um, what I like to do is always to take a measured move. Uh, measured move is a very advanced thing, uh, which you try and uh, just take it. Uh, uh, just don't, don't try to understand it now. Just uh, trust me. Measured move target has already been met. Okay. So this is a previous bullish move. You take the height of this and from here, this bottoming tail here, you just project it upwards. Measured move target has been met. So um, you want to consider buying this stock right now is quite risky. You need to wait for a continuation pattern, which I don't see any continu continuation pattern. This is a continuation pattern. Okay, uh, when the stock was uh, trading sideways and consolidating at this previous high area, that this is a buy signal, a uh, buy setup. Okay, but what I can tell you at this moment is it's a bit late to the party. You want to be early. You want to be early in the party. Don't be late to the party. We we'll always be early in the party. So um, this is the uh technical. But uh, resistance is, last time it was a resistance, resistance once broken is a new support. Okay, so um, as long as Sunway Bahad stays above this area, okay, this area, this is a new support area, things are going to look bullish for this stock. Okay, in the future, there is no resistance overhead, although a uh, uh, target has been met. Okay. So, um, should you buy now? If me, you ask me, I, I don't think I want to buy now. I want to wait for a continuation pattern. Maybe a side is trading and then buy the breakout now. Uh, or maybe it drops uh, and forms a reversal pattern, then you buy. So, it's it's like this. Uh, don't chase stocks, you know. Um, <clears throat> definitely, it has stuck a new stage 2 uptrend. Okay, uh, Stage 2 uptrend here, market top. Then, it didn't trade uh, down but sideways. This is a new uptrend. It, although a bit parabolic, uh, you know, when things go a bit parabolic, you have to uh, stay in reality, uh, you know, don't chase stocks. <coughs> so let's um, go to Sunway Construction. Construction. Okay, Sunway Construction also breaking out higher. <coughs> Look at the uh, weekly charts. Now, uh, okay, monthly charts, Sunway Construction Group. Well, that's why it shot up. It has broken above a monthly downtrend line. So you know when it breaks above a monthly, down, monthly downtrend line, things going to be bullish for this stock. Okay, right now it is at this resistance area. Let me just uh, color this resistance area around here. All right, so... Mm, nah, wait. Weekly chart. <clears throat> okay. It is at this resistance area, and uh, if I take a measured move, don't worry if you don't understand the measured move, just accept it. <laughs> okay, so maybe someday I'll go to the teach you about it. Measured move target is around here, 2.2. Two, which uh, it has kind of already kind of met. Uh, very near. Then it dropped that back. So, <clears throat> do you want to buy now? Maybe not. Okay, maybe you want to wait for uh, another... Look at this parabolic move here. You want to wait for it to um, trade sideways a bit, a bit and uh, maybe a, a continuation pattern. But I can tell you here, there's a new 
very strong support area here. Okay, rising 20 MA, rising 50 MA, uh, slanting up slightly 200 MA. Things are looking good for in the long run for Sunway Construction Group and also Sunway Berhad. Okay, um, this is the new support area and uh, uptrend quality. So, what should a trader do? You know it's uh, quite overbought right now. Don't touch it, but be bullish in the days ahead. If it drops here, maybe you want to look for buy, buying opportunities or um, sideways trading, wait for, for a breakout. So I always like to look at stocks that way, you know, if there is a huge support area here, right, as long as the stock stays above this area, I know it's going to be bullish in the uh, mid-term and long-term. Now let's look at Hatta Lega. Today's uh, analysis will be quite long, you know, but for those stock enthusiasts, enthusiasts no problem, uh, you know. Talk one hour about stocks also won't get boring, you know, especially when money is involved and it's a passion. So, uh, Hatta Lega, I would like to show you that this stock is actually very strong right now. What do you see? Rising 20 MA, rising 50 MA, rising 200 MA. I want to show you the last time that it had this kind of uh, environment. Where was it? Look at this. Right. See, uh, back in 2020, <coughs> a rising 20 MA, rising 50 and rising 200 MA. I'm not saying that it will shoot up like until 20. I know there's a lot of resistance, but uh, <coughs> it is going back to the kind of formation in the MAs. Yeah, you know, and it looks kind of like those days, you know. Even here, we have rising 20 MA, rising 50 MA, but 200 MA still down. But now it's up already. So uh, this tells me that, hey, I must be bullish in this stock in the midterm, long and longer term. And this is a resistance area, resistance area. Stock broke above this resistance area. And now we just have a bit of sell off. This is your new support area. Resistance, once broken, becomes new support. And as long I know, I'm very confident that as long as this stock stays above this support area, things are going to look good for it in the mid-term to long-term. right? Uh, there is just uh, this resistance area here, okay, which I think has been absorbed by the many times it went up here, went up here. Now, so people... Uh, whenever you think of resistance, don't think that it's uh, something hard to grasp. Resistance rate means people who have lost money here. People who bought here lost money. Stock go back up, they sell. Stock go back up, they sell. Eventually, there's nobody who bought here uh, that wants to sell. That's why it's going up. But we got other resistance area here. Which means, uh, <coughs> as a trade, as a trader, you want to know that this is a new support as long as the stock stays above this area because there's no resistance until here. You, as long as it stays above this area, it's going to go up back to around 430, something like that. Okay, you, maybe you want to wait for another buy set up <coughs> if you're a swing trader or momentum trader. Uchi, te Uchi Technologies. Uh, Uchi Technologies, I've mentioned about this some uh, in my last analysis, scales, KLSC. Uh, but this is another week. We have a bottoming tail last week. Previous week also bottoming tail. So it, this bottoming tail has become my new um, kind of uh, new, new, what's that word? Uh, anyway, is the support area. Yeah, new reference point. <coughs> okay, new reference point. And as long as this Uchi tech stays above this low of this bottoming tail, right, and this support area, and because it's rising, right, rising weekly 20 MA, 50 MA, 200 MA, it's going to go up. Okay, this is a uh, very bullish, bullish situation, new highs. So, um, doesn't mean it's gonna 
par be parabolic, but as long as this support hose is gonna be chugging higher, that's Uchitek for you. For those who are holding Uchitek, so no worries at the moment. Every time you wanna ask yourself, um, should you worry about the stock at all or not? You do your support and resistance analysis. YTL power, KLCI, remember, I said when KLCI breaks higher, see this field, this is KLCI, uh, FTSE, Manager KLCI, it shot up. There will be some stocks that will benefit and break out, and YTL power is one of them. So you must be uh, looking at the KLCI always because when a major index breaks out, lots of stocks are going to break out. So this stock are consolidating and consolidating here and it broke up higher and you can see there's a heavy volume here that means uh, very heavy buying interest 100 over million so when it consolidates and break above uh, consolidation is a buy buy signal so right now <coughs> this stock is uh, yeah broken to new highs and um, for a long time it has not been able to gone up 250 but now it's three 338 and it's uh, in an uptrend see this is a stage 2 uptrend you want to be buying stocks that are like that don't waste your time on stocks that are basing or in a downtrend uh, if there's so many stocks in KLS see there's an uptrend why you want to be so smart and bottom fish you know make your life so miserable um, <clears throat> here so this will be the new support area Okay, now this YTL power has gone up too fast. Okay, not a good time to buy unless there is another continuation pattern. What are the continuation patterns? Uh, go to Google and search for uh, bullish continuation patterns. If this stock exhibits any of that, then you can buy. Okay, so right now I say it's a quite parabolic overbought. Even I don't want to, I don't think I want to touch it, you know, unless. Uh, this is the correct entry point. Okay, this is correct entry entry point breakout from uh consolidation from sideways trading. So you maybe you wanna wait for you to drop and then see can buy or we just have to see lah, you know. See if any consolidation or uh, continuation pattern continues. But anyway, this stock as long as it stays above here, the future looks good. We don't know how high it will go, but Trust me, as long as it stays above this area, this spot area, you can do like this, do like this, do like this, but eventually it's just going to move higher and higher. This is the power of uh, stage 2 uptrend. Then we look at the sister stock uh, corporation, YTL also, YTL corporation, okay. Another stock that breaks high, breaks up higher, consolidation. You see this consolidation. Consolidation just means sideways trading. Okay. Broke out of it, shoot higher. Topping two topping tails tells you that it's quite overbought. Right? The fact that it didn't go down means that it's still bullish. Right? Rising 20 MA, rising 50 MA, rising 200 MA. Very bullish for this stock. Okay. And uh New highs for after a long time, we have, haven't made any new highs, but new highs here. Weekly chart, quite a uh, parabolic move here. If the end of the week makes a topping tail, it might just correct back up. But since uh, there is a very bullish candle here, right, you want to make sure that the stock stays above the upper half of this bullish candle then you know that it's going to climb up higher okay whatever it does you want to see it trade whether correct or not you want to see it trade at the, above this second half then then we look for continuation patterns and see whether uh, there's another setup or not but always uh, be bullish when the stock is above its rising 20 ma a bit overbought maybe my correct maybe my uh sideways trading <coughs> okay but overall mid term long term still good now let's look at capital a <coughs> capital a berhad okay uh uptrend 
stage 3 top going down basing and it broke below this uh, support area going down today so uh, these are the kind of stocks that you don't want to be touching at the moment look at it um, has been trading sideways for a long time uh, try to go for uptrend stocks you know it just broke below the 200 ma as well and this is a support area right support area if it continues to drop below this support area it's gonna go lower okay um below 20 ma 50 ma below the 200 ma uh, something you don't want to touch you want to touch the stock when it's above the 200 ma above the 20 ma above the 50 ma so here's a trick for you Public bank, Malaysian darling stock, um, weekly chart, downtrend, then bottom, low, make a higher low, now it is in a new daily uptrend. Stock just gone back above the 200 MA, rising 20 MA, rising 50 MA, so you want to be continue uh, to be modestly bullish on this stock. Okay, as long as it stays above this uptrend line, you want to stay bullish on this stock. Although um, there is a lot of resistance here. Whenever you see resistance here, although the stock is in an uptrend, don't think that it will just shoot up like this. A lot of absorption of supply needs to happen. But I'm just telling you this, uh, if you want to trade, don't trade this stock. You want to look for clear cut skies ahead but uh, if you ask me whether it's gonna go up yes as long as it stays above this uptrend line right things are still bullish right so um there you have it it's a very long thing and i hope you enjoy this analysis